after looking down at it. You're dissociating. Or, or God's eye point of view. Uh, uh, right, seeing what you're going through with these actions and how you over, overplay or underplay different different movements, and then and then to see the fo- the images of it. To you know, that's what's weird with this. That's why I say nothing. Uh, are you saying, are you saying, you're saying realist. this trip kind of one trip flowed into the other? Yeah, because I still haven't been able to see. I've seen some imagery from, I mean, from your photographs from this performance, and I've seen some imagery from the performance in Europe from, you know, some of those photographs that were taken. But it's, it's a time-based thing, like you're talking about. Yours is a flat thing, you know, with the f- photographs somewhat. I mean, it's also about time, but it's... it's uh, um, for the most part, flattening time, and then with your video, it is more of a 3D, three-dimensional time, but still capture, you know, it's like a linear thing as well, yeah. and I don't have, we don't have any video from the performance, <laughs> and I have video from uh, Europe from two different points of two different cameras, but I can't see it. I have not, I still, <laughs> because it's on, they recorded on Blu-ray. Completely frustrating, but also just, this is happening for a reason. You have to flow with it. Maybe I'll never, see, maybe <laughs> something will happen on the plane. I'll lose my bags or something. I have one copy of this stuff. Just like, you know, yeah, this yeah. thing wasn't recorded. You don't know. But I, in order to fully kind of reflect, I feel like I always need to see than the video or see if my what I was seeing from the rafter point of view actually happened actually came through what adjustments I need to make <laughs> but just because that's not in the video doesn't mean it wasn't there I mean that's the thing the that's true just, too because because video and pictures do not represent feeling necessarily of, of the audience who attended the show so then maybe this is a learning uh a lesson for actually me also to say allow actually more opposite than I thought allow that experience and not belittle or or throw aside my participation in that because I feel like I'm always I'm the spectacle I'm the object yeah. I'm not the one that receives uh, uh, any sort of um, experience from it when I'm just throwing out my own actions and experience with my body. I don't, ha- I, you know, I always need to see the final product. So I see that. I see the video and the imagery as the final thing. That's interesting. For me, because I'm not there. Well, I am I, there, but I, I belittle me, me being right, there. Right. And maybe this is what this Take is. Take your own point of view seriously. More seriously. That, hey, you know. I'm getting information and feedback from people that witnessed it or experienced it or put the imagery together, final product, whatever, even if that's myself. But getting feedback and relying on that more than what this thing was all about, getting to stripping it down and getting to the bare bones of what is this experience. Because when you do something like that, then you're capturing the... Nothing, it's not about being perfect. Yeah, well, when you feel yeah. the the energy, the whatever, um, instead of really lining up all the energy and all the all the process to, for making it really um, straight edge and nice and clean or whatever right, the right. word is for right. what you're talking about juxtaposition right. between what you do and versus archival. your studio mates archival, <laughs> you lose all of the spontaneity and, and the life. Right. Sometimes. So. Often. Yeah. So you're not necessarily. Really I mean, I love that obsessive, of, perfect work too. But yeah, I'm but just that's saying. Not what this is about, right, yeah. right. And right. it's so. It's just there's a lot of freedom, and especially when you are under budget and time constraints, so you can just be like, go for the effect, go for the gesture. Mm-hmm.